Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Aladdin and the Lamp. There once lived a poor, lazy boy who only liked playing. His name was Aladdin. One day, a stranger appeared. He was a magician. I am your uncle, he told Aladdin. Tell your mother I am here. Over supper, Aladdin's mother cried. Aladdin is so lazy. She said, "We have no money since his father died." The magician agreed to help. Next day, the magician led Aladdin up into the mountains. They stopped to light a fire. The magician threw some powder onto the fire and chanted magical words. Suddenly, the earth shook. Then Aladdin saw a heavy stone with a brass ring. Under this stone lies treasure. Said the magician, "To lift it, you must chant the names of your father and grandfather." Aladdin did as he was told. Under the stone, Aladdin saw long, winding steps. "Fetch me the lamp in the cave. Wear this ring," said the magician. Aladdin walked through three halls filled with treasure, and a garden full of fruit trees. There, at the end of the garden, was the lamp. Aladdin took it and ran back to the mouth of the cave. "Give me that lamp!" shouted the magician. "Not until you get me out of here!" shouted back Aladdin. The magician got angry. He threw more powder onto the fire, and the stone rolled back. Aladdin was trapped and scared. He knew now that the man was not his uncle, but a cunning magician. Why does he want this old lamp? Thought Aladdin. Aladdin twisted the ring on his finger. At once, a genie rose up. I am the genie of the ring and will obey you in all things, he said. Please get me out of here, begged Aladdin. Suddenly, the earth opened and the genie disappeared. Aladdin quickly escaped. At home, his mother hugged him. Let me sell some cotton. She said, "We need money for food." No, you will get more money if you sell this old lamp," said Aladdin. As Aladdin's mother cleaned the lamp, another genie appeared. "Your wish is my command, master," said the genie. "Uh, could you please bring us some food?" asked Aladdin. The genie returned with four silver plates laden with food. He also granted lots of other wishes for Aladdin, and from that day on, the genie made sure that Aladdin and his mother were never in need again. The end. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.